What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. Today I'm going to walk you through my chest and back workout and also mix in a run just so you guys can see again what it's like to mix in a little bit of hybrid style training, a mix of weightlifting, a mix of running and how I incorporate it and maybe how you could incorporate it into your training. So let's jump into this weight workout. All right, so instead of rambling about exactly kind of what I'm doing with these exercises, I want to talk overall about how I mix in lifting and running and what I do differently or what I don't do differently. So for the first and foremost, I don't change much, to be honest. So here I am doing bench press. I'm warming up. So brief background on me. I've been lifting and bodybuilding for over seven years now. And even with this new change of running the past year, I haven't changed anything. I still lift six days a week. Today's workout's a chest and back workout. I still follow the same split. The only difference I really have to keep in mind is more my leg training because you obviously don't want to pair up intense, long running efforts with really heavy uh, leg days as well. So that is one thing you have to manage uh, personally is your leg fatigue. So that really depends again on your schedule, your split, what your goals are so that is one thing to keep in mind but especially when it comes to upper body but even some principles with lower body is you still want to train heavy you still want to train you know all these different kinds of hypertrophy and strength movements it's not like you should only stick to body weight stuff or keep it light uh, again it depends what your goals are if you're trying to be super competitive you're trying to win races you don't want to be running or you don't want to be uh, you know squatting heavy uh, doing constant lunges, all this hypertrophy work because it doesn't aid in that goal. Vice versa, if you're trying to be more of a strength or uh, bodybuilding athlete, then you don't need to be doing all that running. But if you're like me, if you're like most people that I assume are watching this video, and you just want to be overall healthy, have a holistic, healthy approach to life and to training, and you just want to do both lifting and running, then you don't need to change much. So Doing bench press, like I said, some heavier sets of uh, 225 here, just sets of six. It wasn't too bad today. Moving on to some other hypertrophy movements you'll see throughout. So I mix in a machine press, a dumbbell fly. And again, with all these movements, I'll throw the sets and reps up um, throughout the video. But I'm doing basically three working sets of anywhere from 8 to 12 reps on most of these. The uh, compound movements, the heavier stuff, the bench press, the squats. I keep things in the lower rep range. But... Obviously, sometimes I'm mixing some higher rep ranges as well. So I finished off chest with this chest press machine that I really like. Good time under tension. Good way to kind of finish things off. And then to kick off back, I started off with pull-ups. And again, like I said, guys, there's, there's no magic to it. You know, you can gain muscle. You can gain strength with running. The biggest thing is it just comes down to your diet. Are you eating enough to grow? You're eating enough to replenish all the calories you're burning not only in your running but in your lifting it's a lot of a lot of training so it's you know it's a hard to fit into your schedule if you really commit to it and b hard to eat that much food so those are my biggest tips is a you know don't shy away from certain movements or heavy weight just because you know you're worried how it's going to affect your running you know progress obviously it will affect it to an extent but you can certainly do both and uh, vice versa it's not going to impact how much muscle or size you can put on. Obviously it will to an extent, but you can certainly get stronger, certainly get bigger, even with mixing in a lot of endurance training into your program. So that's it for me rambling on this in this video and in this workout. Mixed in obviously some pull downs, uh, this really good T-bar row. I really love this machine, really good stretch on this guy. So if you are local to the Ashland, Virginia or Richmond, Virginia area, come check out my gym. And uh, yeah, get some training in and then finished up with a little cable row. And that was it for the workout, threw in some abs and uh, good, good little old school, simple bodybuilding workout. All right, forgive me for my messy desk, but like I said in the voiceover, there's really not that much you should be doing different if you're lifting and you're running. Now again, obviously, if you're trying to be competitive, if you're purely focused on running, if you're trying to win races, you should not be weight training this consistently, this heavy, this high volume, any of that. But if you're looking for a more holistic, healthy lifestyle choice, you love lifting, you love running, you wanna do both, 
you don't really get to change that much. The only thing you should consider is how you structure your workouts as far as you know when you do a long run versus when you do a leg day and things like that just so you're not overloading uh, fatigue on your body as well as you're not increasing the risk of injury so i'll link up above somewhere in this corner uh, my breakdown of my split and how i fit six days of lifting and running every day into a weekly program because that way i have it structured to where i'm not you know going for a long run and then immediately into like the heaviest workout of the week. You know, you need, to, you need to keep that in mind just so again, you don't put too much stress on your system. But anyway, back to today's workout. I just did, as you saw, chest and back, threw in a little bit of abs at the end that I didn't show on video. Now I'm focused on two things post-workout, carbs and protein. So essentially I wanna get in something pretty quick. So a bagel, fruit, whatever I can get into my system is very good to help kind of fuel me, give me some energy back, especially if I'm gonna go right into a run within the next 30 minutes to an hour. Um, and then the other thing, like I said, is protein. So I'll either do something like x Works protein. I really like how this stuff digests and mix. It's just simple whey protein, but it tastes really good, specifically the peanut butter and the chocolate flavors. I'll do that. Sometimes I'll throw in some creatine too. Doesn't really matter what brand of protein or creatine, just what I use. Um, and then also, if you can get in electrolytes too, recently Protein 2.0, it's this uh, protein water company. They have some drinks that also have electrolytes in them. They sent me some bottles. I've been trying them out. They're pretty good. So if you can fit in some electrolytes, some sodium, if you have a different sports drink, you know, Gatorade, um, whatever, that's helpful too, just because you did just sweat a ton in your lifting workout. But anyway, it's a lot of me talking. I'm gonna eat this, drink some protein, get some fuel in my body, head home, and uh, get ready to knock out six miles today. All right, so we're almost ready to start running. Just got to the spot. Gonna do a little warm up with the mini band and then we'll get running. It's worth noting if you're new to the channel, today's run is gonna be kind of easy. It's an easy six miles because I'm recovering from an IT band injury. But if you wanna look at a more marathon prep type of run if you look earlier on my channel i have some videos where i would weight train and then go do speed workouts or two a day so i'll link those videos or you can just go to my channel also i don't know if it's just me but i try my best to pee at least like once or twice before every run but as soon as i start running it's like my bladder just has to pee out any liquid in my body it's like no matter what mid run i'm gonna need to pee really bad I don't know, maybe it's just me. Coming up on four miles, so I only got two left. And I know this isn't an exciting run just to run the suburbs, but suburbs are convenient, relatively flat terrain. Sometimes that's what you gotta do. Boring, convenient runs are better than driving out 30 minutes to an hour, spending like three hours for a six mile run. So just food for thought. well uh, 6.22 miles or 10k and ran it at a 1007 average pace so again not super fast but it was supposed to be a little bit of an easier run and also I'm still in kind of recovery from an injury so I'll take it I'm happy with it that's today's training it's only 10 26 a.m. I've already crushed the chest and back workout ran 6.2 miles and uh, now I got the rest of today to work enjoy the New Year's Eve and uh, yeah, enjoy the weekend. So thank you guys for watching. Again, if you wanna watch other kind of full days of training, they're on my channel throughout uh, where I'm mixing in leg workouts with the run in the evening, um, more speed work, all that kind of stuff. So check out that content, subscribe for more stuff like this, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one.